Okay, we're now moving on to my country. Um, so here we have Bendy Borg, who's independent consultant, um, who's from Australia, and she's going to introduce herself and talk about the tool. Thanks, Julie, and uh, congratulations, Julie and Alex and ANU Alive and Thrive, FHI, everyone who worked on this tool. Um, it's fantastic. Thank you for giving me a chance to comment on it. So my name is Bindi Borg. I have been a development practitioner for almost 25 years, working in West Africa, the Balkans, um, South and Southeast Asia and the Pacific for various international NGOs, intergovernmental agencies and United Nations. And I'm also, perhaps more importantly, a mother of two children breastfed for a very long time and I'm a breastfeeding counsellor and educator. Back to my professional work, in my, in my work, a lot of my work has been about trying to convince development agencies and governments and donors to give funding to value breastfeeding and to fund breastfeeding promotion and protection interventions. And in public health nutrition, uh, and indeed in all humanitarian and development interventions, the question is always about cost effectiveness. How much will the intervention cost? How much will, will it benefit? Uh, how much money will be saved? And how much does it cost in comparison to some other intervention? So the mother's milk tool is going to be an essential and incredibly useful tool to answer those questions. It's very easy to use, and I'll be using it for that kind of advocacy to support breastfeeding interventions. And I will certainly use it alongside the cost of not breastfeeding tool. They're two sides to the same coin, and they work beautifully together. Um, so in my, in my work life, I find there's a lot of lip service about the importance of breastfeeding and these two tools together will, out, will, will let us put a price on uh, what it really means to fail to support breastfeeding. And the mother's milk tool actually then goes even further uh, uh, to really value women's production and, and provision of breast milk. For me, that's revolutionary. It, it means that we can no longer pretend that breast milk is a free product and that breastfeeding is a free service. By valuing breast milk, we are forced to value the women who produce and provide it. Um, for any of you who are movie buffs, I, uh, I'm always reminded of the milk mothers in Max, Ma Mad Max's Fury Road. Um, and in that sort of dystopian uh, world of scarcity, Nevertheless, mother's milk was recognised as a precious and tradable resource, and the milk mothers were valued as producers of something vital. So if it can happen in this dystopian cinematic world, surely it can happen in our world. And, and Julie and Alex and the team have, have made that possible. The lost milk tool just changes everything. When we put a value on breast milk and breastfeeding, we can think really logically and clearly about things like paid maternity leave, about gender equity, about contributions, women's contributions to their household food security. And, and we can be clear sighted about the relative value for example, of a, a Cambodian woman going to work in a garment factory while her baby is fed diluted uh, condensed milk from an unhygienic bottle, we can compare that to the attendant uh, risks of infection and underweight and stunting. Equally, we can be clear sighted about the relative value of an Australian woman going to her job while her baby is fed infant formula by a childcare worker with the attendant risks of overweight and non communicable diseases. So the lost milk tool really forces us to acknowledge that women are creating enormous economic value and contributing to their country's wealth and health by producing breast milk and by breastfeeding. And it also allows individual women to acknowledge that their breast milk and their breastfeeding may have equal or greater value uh, than, than their paid work may have equal or greater value than their partner's work or their child carer's work. And to me, that's a revolutionary step in gender empowerment. It gives breastfeeding women 
an enormous bargaining chip to say that mother's milk and mother's caring has value. So for my purposes, I will be using the advocacy briefs. Thank you for making them. They'll be so useful to present to governments and donors and others. Down the line, a future step might be to incorporate comparisons uh, to the cost of breastfeeding promotion interventions like peer counseling or BFHI. And I love what Diane was saying, or what Diane was saying, maybe we could add for the individual calculation, a certificate to print out, yay, this is what I've contributed to my family and my country. So uh, well done, everyone. I look forward to using the tool in my future work. Congratulations and thank you so much for the excellent tool. Thank you. Thank you, Bindi. Um, one of my fellow countrywomen. Um, it's great to hear your comments on the tool. And um, yes, we're certainly taking into account the comments that people are making about the different directions for the tool in the future. 